My name is Jerry. Four years ago, I was diagnosed with mouth cancer. At the time, I didn't know what to expect during my hospital visits. So we're doing a short video today to try and put some people's minds at ease and show you exactly what happens when you have radiotherapy for head and neck cancer. I was diagnosed with mouth cancer. Went to the doctors with a small lump in my mouth and he sent me on for further tests at the hospital and that came back within two weeks. Yes, it was mouth cancer. What you'll do initially, you'll come in, you'll have your scans done, you'll have a CT scan, you'll have a normal scan. Then obviously they know where the, your cancer is. Then they'll have the mask made and then your mask is available for you every time you go in and have your radiotherapy. I've got mine at home. Some people won't keep it, some people say no, but I kept it. The purpose of the mask is it has to be kept still. The mask is clamped, but not in a horrible medieval type way. It's there so you don't move your head. Everybody's cancer is different. Everybody is an individual. Some people are very nervous and some people just ride it like they're getting their bus home. But everybody I speak to at the end says it wasn't as bad as they all thought it might be. Anything you're not sure about, they want you to ask. So if any questions, just please ask a member of the staff and they're so helpful. When they uh, actually put the material on your face to mould it into the mask, um, it just feels warm and it's actually not a bad experience, very much like when you get a heated towel if you're on a long haul flight somewhere. You just lie there and think happy thoughts. <laughs> the mask is made for you um, and then you have to wait just for the mask to set, etc. They will put a small dot, a tattoo dot on your chest so they can line it up when you go in for your treatment and they put various pieces on there that they need for alignment of the um, radiation. It's over within a matter of minutes really, it's not a long drawn out process and certainly not painful. You are put in the CT scanning machine. Now obviously when you're in the scan itself, uh, all the staff have to come out of the room but they, they are there and they do give you an emergency button to press. It's fairly open, you can see the machine working um, and the machine actually sort of whizzes around where if you look up you can see the lights whizzing it's, it's not a bad experience it's very very important with the mask when it's fitted to maintain the same weight if you start losing weight the mask won't fit correctly because some days you won't feel like eating because of mouth ulcers and things a lot of people will have a food peg put into their stomach it helps you so much when you don't want to eat so now you can just put your food through your peg so I'm just back from having my mask all fitted for me and that's one upstairs with the technical team. They put all the bits and pieces together and tailor it all for your own special needs that you need for the radiotherapy. This usually takes around about two weeks um, but it needs to be tailor made just for yourself and each individual person. So I will see you at radiotherapy. The, the major concern for people that are having the radiotherapy is People feel claustrophobic with the mask being fitted. You can't move your head from side to side. You are restrained because you start moving. Obviously, the beams will not be hitting the, the space, so you have to be kept still. But it's important once you get that first session out of the way, the claustrophobia just, you don't really think about it. Okay, Jeremy, if you're ready, here we go, okay? Here we go. There we go, nice and straight. Because so you can hear people adjusting the machine, but obviously with the mask over, you can't quite see. But they do talk to you and they do help you. Well, they put your head in a nice position so you're comfortable. They always explain exactly what they're doing. Um, they really are superb at their job and have faith in them. The people that are doing the um, radiotherapy for you, they're on the other side. Um, you're constantly on their camera. And while they're doing that, they're actually scanning you as well. And that is given to the doctor on a daily basis. So they can monitor how things are going with your radiotherapy. And again, if you need them, you can always wave your hand because you know they're constantly watching you. When I leave the room, the machine will start up. It is noisy. Um, it's not horrendously noisy, but it does crank and bang about. But you'll get to know over a period of time, as the machine goes on, you'll get to know the sounds of the machine and you'll actually know when you're coming to the end of your session 
Because you've got no concept of time, really. But when the actual treatment's happening, there's, you cannot feel a thing. You, you don't, don't feel any heat, you feel absolutely nothing. The only side effect you'll have straight away from treatment is tiredness. You will feel tired, um, and all I would say is, if you feel tired in the afternoon, have a sleep. Let your body tell you what, what it needs. I hope this video has been of help to you. I know I would appreciate it during my treatment time. For any other support or help, please contact me now. Thank you.